Hi, today we're going to talk about uh, applications of sequences and uh, we have many situations when uh, sequences including arithmetic and geometric sequences can be used so we're going to take a look at several examples analyze, we're going, we are going to analyze what's going on write uh, different types of formulas and also make a meaningful connection to what these formulas can mean so let's start with this one Juan saves $10 saves ten dollars of his allowance each week uh, let m of n represent the amount of money Juan saved uh, in n weeks so is this an arithmetic or geometric sequence we are adding the same number each week we go up by ten dollars each week so you go up by the same amount that means we have an arithmetic sequence write a recursive formula so what do we have here we have the first term that's going to be 10 right? that's how much he has the first week and each subsequent week he's going to have the first week uh, the first term well I'm sorry the previous term plus 10 more correct you can also write that in using m n so m of 1 is going to equal 10 and m n of n is going to equal m of n minus 1 plus 10. So that's a recursive formula. That's the one that goes one by one, tells you how to find each next term using the previous one. How do we rewrite the explicit formula that we also know as the general formula? For that, we're going to say, okay, so we want to write a sub n. What do we have? We have ten week, ten dollars on the first week, twenty on the second week. If you think about this, you're going to do ten n. The number n here is going to represent the week. So in the first week, if you substitute one in here, you're going to get ten. In two weeks, when you make it these two, twenty, etc., etc. Uh, it's going to look the same way for this formula. M of n is going to equal ten n. So now it's asking us to evaluate m of 15. So we simply take 15, substitute for n, 10 times 15, it's going to equal 150. So the question is, what does that represent? So we want to go back, remember that m of n represented how much money Juan saved in n weeks. So 150, so $150, Juan saved in 15 weeks okay and that's all for this problem next problem Michael creates a social media account by the end of the first month he has three followers and by the end of each subsequent month the number of his followers double let f of n represent the number of Michael's followers at the end of nth month so is this an arithmetic or geometric it doubles. Doubles means you multiply by 2. So you multiply by the same number, this is going to be a geometric sequence. Okay. Recursive formula for uh, this is going to be, so we're going to do f of n for each week, we're going to take what? We're going to take the previous week and multiply it by 2, right? So f of n minus 1 times 2. Or you can write that as 2 times f of n minus 1, which is the same thing. Now, as far as the explicit formula, we're writing that for a geometric sequence. So let's think about this. The first month, he's got three followers, and it gets multiplied each following month by 2. So we're going to start with 3. And then for each following month, we're going to double that. But if let's think about this. If you put n here, then for the first month when n is 1, you are going to get 6. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 1. So when you make n equals 1, you make n minus 1. That's 1 minus 1. That's 0. 2 to the power of 0 is 1. And you're going to get 3. Okay, so that is our explicit formula for... 
the number of Michael's followers. Okay, and finally evaluate f of 6. So we're going to make n equals 6. So f of 6 is going to be 3 times 2 to the power 6 minus 1. That's going to be 3 times, that's 2 to the 5th power, which is 32, and it's going to be 96. So what is that, what does this number represent? That's the number of followers at the end of 6th month. Remember, the value of n represents uh, the, uh, the month. Okay. Next example. An amphitheater has 25 seats in the first row and each subsequent row has tw four more seats. Let S of n represent the number of seats in n row. So is this an arithmetic or geometric? Well, you go up by four. Each time you go up by four, same number you, that you add. So it's going to be an arithmetic sequence. Okay. For the recursive formula, we are going to realize that we are going to have the first. I'm sorry, we're using S. S of 1 is going to be 25. And S of n is going to be the previous term plus 4. Because we go up by 4, right? So an explicit formula that's going to represent that, we're going to write S of n, that's going to be, let's see, we start with 25, and then we're going to be adding 4 each time, but because that's only going to start applying with the next one, we are going to multiply by n minus 1. So S of 11, I usually put those things on my S's so that you can, you don't confuse them with the 5. 25 plus 4 times 11 minus 1, which is going to be 25 plus, that's 4 times 10 plus 40, is going to be 65. What is that? That's the number of seats in row 11. Right? Because remember, 11, the, not the value of n, represents the number of the row. Okay, next problem. Gene got a $2,000 no-interest loan from his uncle to buy a car. He promises to pay $100 each week. Starting second week, Gene makes his first $100 payment and continues to make them each subsequent week. L of n represents the remaining balance of Gene's loan. So, uh, we're looking at the balance, which means that his balance is going to reduce by $100 each time he makes a payment. First of all, it goes down by the same amount, so it's still an arithmetic sequence. Technically, we're adding negative 100, right? Because we, when we talk about an arithmetic sequence, we always talk about adding a number. Right? But when it goes down, we're adding a negative number. So the recursive formula. For the first week, his balance is $2,000. Right? And for each week, we're going to take the previous week's balance and subtract 100. Or, you can write that as the, pre as the previous week's balance plus negative 100. It is going to give you exactly the same thing. An explicit formula is going to be L of n. So we start with 2000, correct? Plus, we're going to go down by uh, $100, but what we're going to have is we are going to have n minus 1 because he starts his payments on the second week. So n minus 1 times negative 100. You can actually rewrite this formula if you want a little bit different. What we do is we can distribute the negative 100. It's going to be 2000 plus negative 100 times n 
and negative 1 times negative 100 is plus 100. So the formula can also be written as 2100 minus 100n. L of 13. Substitute 13 in here. So it's 2100 minus 1300. That is going to give us 800. That's Gene's balance is $800 on week 13. Okay. And finally, a certain radioactive element loses half of its amount every hour. This deals with a, a scientific concept of radioactive decay. So we start with a thousand grams of the element and M uh, is going to represent the amount. So is this ar arithmetic or geometric? We lose half. You divide by two. Right? Or it's the same as multiply by a half. So it's geometric. Right? For the recursive formula, we are going to say that our first hour is going to be a first element is 1000 and for each subsequent element you're going to take the previous element and multiply it by one half. Remember we do not define it as division with um, geometric sequences it must be done with multiplication or simply one half times m of n minus one. Okay, an explicit formula is going to be m of n equals, so we start with a thousand times, then you're going to have to multiply by one half each time. Since it starts in the second hour, that you're going to get half of that, it's going to be to the power n minus one. And all we need to do now is find m of, m of five. It's going to be one thousand times one half to the power of 5 minus 1, which is 1000 times 1 half to the fourth power, which is 1000 times 1 over 16. So, excuse me. And 1000 times 1 16. is going to be 62 and a half gram left in five hours. Okay, and uh, that's it. Have any questions? Put them in the comments. I hope this helps.